This is Alex with the KISS team. Uh, today we're going to be using the Auto Pro Pad Lite and we're going to be programming a 2016 Toyota Prius. Um, Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and jump in the cockpit. Hey guys, this is Alex with the KISS team. Um, today, again, we're going to be programming um, or adding a key for a uh, 2016 Toyota Prius. Um, it's a, we have one working proxy right now. And we have a used um, OEM, you know, Toyota proxy, but we need to add that one in. The only way we can add these in is we got to go all keys lost and reset the emo and so forth. So I'm going to go ahead and show how we can do that with the Auto Pro Pad Lite. Um, here goes. I'm going to find US Toyota. As soon as I find that guy, we'll go ahead and just jump right in. It says agree. All right, smart key system. We're gonna go to Prox 3. I'm gonna go ahead and go to uh, reset smart key ECU, just because I'm trying to add a used key. <clears throat> Actually, you know what? We'll go ahead and try to add a smart key because now I'm kind of thinking maybe I do have a newer one. So let's go ahead and try it out. If not, I'll know immediately. So you put the, the master or the existing program key. Now this is the one that I want to add in. Nope, no beeping sound. So that lets me know that this one's a used one and that it's not going to be added on. So it's going to say operation failed, which is fine. Now I'm going to go into reset smart key ECU. I'm going to go to reset ECU all keys lost. Uh, it says the scanner has to be connected to the internet, complete the operation. Uh, let me make sure that I'm connected real quick. Just go here. Um, earlier I went ahead and I, yep, I made sure that we're already Wi-Fi. Okay, so now I'll just go back to the Auto Pro Pad Lite. I'm going to go ahead and just now reset. It says that I need to be connected to the internet, which I am. Um, it says it'll take about 16 minutes and to confirm that the driver door is open. It is open. So it's communicating now. configuring the system hope you guys can see this and it's waiting so if everything's successful you have good internet connection um, you obviously chose the right uh, prox and so forth um, at that point you'll know that you'll be resetting um, and it tells you to keep the driver's door open so right now we're going through a countdown. We're at 15 minutes and 42 seconds. <clears throat> and I'm going to let it go ahead and count down. Now again, guys, the reason why we're resetting um, the ECU and all keys lost is because the only way we can add a used Toyota proxy is by resetting the, uh, the, emo the uh, all keys lost or the ECU. Um, so, and that way we can have two working keys here. I'm going to go ahead and just set this down right here. Hopefully it's still in your guys' vision. <clears throat> nope. And there we go. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and let that keep recording. Um, we'll see you back in about 14, 15 minutes. All right, guys, we're back. Um, we just finished the 16-minute uh, countdown, um, and it stopped actually like within like 13 minutes, 14 minutes, or no, I'm saying 13, 12, between 12 and 13 minutes, it stopped, and it said the procedure was complete. Please use, please use program smart key after reading, resetting it to add the key. Okay, so. Um, I'm going to go ahead and instead of doing the old original key that was working, I'm going to go in with the uh, used uh, second key that we're adding to the system. But because I already reset the uh, ECU, there is no keys programmed to this car right now. Okay, So 
I'm going to go ahead and uh, press OK. I'm going to go ahead and go to Program Smart Key after resetting, which is the tablet here. I'm going to go ahead and pick this back up, guys. Uh, let me put this on real quick. There's a little uh, hand fit for your hand back here. All right, so hopefully you guys can see that now. Um, so I'm going to go to Program Smart Key after resetting. Um, it says use the new Smart Key. Perfect. Took It already took. So program success. Now I'm going to go ahead and back out of this point and I'm going to add the existing smart key back in. So now I'm going to go back to add a smart key. It says use programmed smart key. Right? So this was the, the, the old one. I'm sorry, the new one. Now I'm going to put the old existing one back in. And it's successful. Hope you guys were able to see that. And press OK. So we now have two keys programmed to this uh, 2016 Prius Prime. Um, it would be the same procedure if you were doing like a 2017 Prius um, with these keys. All right, guys. Um, now I'm just going to go ahead and show you. Just pretty much unplug my Bluetooth OBD module. Uh, pretty much all done with this so I can power it down or put it to sleep or whatnot. I'll put it to the side because I have to use it for some other cars here. <clears throat> Here's the Bluetooth module here. And now I guess pretty much we're ready to see if this thing works. All right, so we're on, we're going. So that's good news. Let me turn it off. All right, so now I just want to see if this thing's programmed. Awesome. Now, see if the pre existing one is programmed again. All right, guys, this is Alex with the KISS team. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please um, have them in the comment section. Thanks again.